Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play. We'll solve it together. Okay, so in this problem, they say which expression is equivalent to this ratio where x is not 1 half. So x cannot be 1 half. They're just saying that because if you plug in 1 half to the denominator, you get 0. And you cannot divide by 0, so x cannot be 1 half. That's just a domain restriction right there. And if you look at some of the choices, you can see there's like this whole part of this quotient, and this would be the remainder over the divisor. Something like that's happening over here as well. So we have a good idea that we're going to be doing some long division. So we take our, or we can do synthetic division here, um, or that would be difficult, I think, but we want to do long division. Let's see, plus 0x. Don't forget your zeros for those zero terms to keep track. It's like keeping track of place value plus 9x minus 5, there is our dividend. Don't forget that zero term. And then dividing it by 2x minus 1. And then all we're doing is saying, how many times is this leading term going to this one? The polynomial powers are in descending order, so however many times 2x goes into 4x cubed, um, when we redistribute that, it'll be distributed to 2x and then a power smaller than it, and everything works out. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 x cubed divided by x is x squared. We distribute that now to 2x and negative 1. We're going to get 4x cubed minus 2x squared times 1, which is minus 2x squared. And then we subtract. The first two terms cancel. Then we're really adding. We're subtracting a negative 2x squared. So we have plus 2x squared. Let's bring down our 9x term. Now, again, this leading term of 2x how many times does it go into itself, or, uh, into 2x squared, excuse me, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, x squared divided by x is just x. We distribute it to find the remainder. That's 2x squared, right? x times 2x is 2x squared, and x times negative 1 is minus x. Subtract, find the remainder. These two terms here will always cancel, and then 9x minus negative x is just 10x. Now we say how many times does 2x go into 10x? Right, so it's going to be 2 goes into 10 five times, and x goes into x one time, which is 5. Now we distribute the 5 on the 2x minus 1, bring down this negative 5 right here, and 5 times 2x minus 1 is just 10x minus 5. We subtract these two and have no remainder. They divide evenly, and that brings us to choice 1. All right, I hope that helped.